All right, this is a Honeywell Pro 3000 non-programmable digital thermostat. All right, this one can be either hard powered with 24 volts AC from the furnace or air handler, which will power the LCD display. All right, it can also be powered with two 1.5 volt uh, AA batteries. All right, so you could use either one or both. It doesn't. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Um, if you do use batteries, I would suggest you change them at least once a year, uh, if not more, and maybe use Duracell batteries as well. All right. So to open it up, you got to squeeze it right here on the side, All right. and then it pops open. And now you see your terminals. All right. You should notice there's a brass jumper right here between RC and R. All right. That's if you want to power a furnace and air conditioning system um, with this thermostat, okay? Um, the jumper is there to take out if you want to, say, power a boiler and a separate air conditioning system. Something where there would be two 24-volt transformers powering in, you would remove that jumper, all right? In this case, it's a gas furnace and air conditioning system or an oil furnace and air conditioning system. So we'll leave this jumper in. All right, the red wire will be coming from here, from your, say, furnace, coming in, and it gets wired right back here. Strip about a quarter inch of 18-gauge wire, and you put it right in. Make sure you don't use a uh, lesser gauge than that, or a lower gauge like 20 or 22. That would be too, too thin, all right, to carry the voltage properly, and subsequently the, the amperage. Uh, so what you have is the 24 to 28 volts coming in, and then what happens is it goes into the thermostat, it gets connected, and then it comes back out, whatever you tell it to do. For instance, G, Y, and W. These are all signal wires, and those are sensed at the furnace control board. All right? if, if on the control board of the furnace, W has 24 volts on the control board of the furnace, it tells the heat to turn on. Y would be cooling at the furnace control board, and G would be fan at the furnace control board, all right? So 24 volts is the only voltage coming in from the furnace, and it comes in here, all right? Um, if you want to uh, power the LCD display, you're going to need a blue wire coming in from the furnace. It doesn't really matter what color it is, but this is the color code. It will be blue for C, all right? So 24 volts comes in goes through the thermostat and it's completed by going back to the common at the furnace control board through the C terminal and blue wire. All right. So let's just say if we wanted to turn the fan on, okay, we turn the fan on, 24 volts comes in the R and it goes through the thermostat and it comes back out the G here and then goes to the furnace. On the control board of the furnace, 24 volts is sensed and then it tells the furnace to turn the blower on at its lowest fan speed, which would normally be the heat fan speed, all right? It's not going to turn heat on, it's just the heat fan speed. There's two fan speeds, one's heat and one is cooling. Cooling is faster. Um, all right, so you say you're going to turn it, turn the heat on this time, all right? So you turn the heat on, turn the temperature up, all right? 24 volts comes in the R, and then it goes through the thermostat, back out the W, and the W wire back to the furnace control board. Once 24 volts is sensed on the furnace control board, it's gonna tell the furnace to turn the heat on. All right, and then it'll go through its heat sequence of operation. If we wanted to turn cooling on, we would just go ahead and turn the cooling on and press down, okay? And then you have 24 volts comes into R, and then it goes through the thermostat to the Y terminal through the yellow wire back to the furnace and it tells the furnace to turn cooling on. All right. So that's basically what this does when you're looking to do a furnace and air conditioning system with this thermostat. All right. So we're going to go over the color code with you right now. This is W terminal and that's white and that is heat. Y terminal, yellow and that's cooling. G terminal, that is green and that is fan. O would only be used when powering a reversing valve. All right. Same thing, B will be used for a reversing valve um, on, say, a root or ream. O is used for other ones, but in this case, we're not using O or B. And that's usually orange uh, during the heat pump. All right, R and RC, they're jumpered together. It's going to be a red wire. C is the blue wire. 
all right um, as well on the back of this thermostat you want to make sure that you are switched to gas or oil all right because you could also do electric or heat pump as well with this all right though I do recommend getting getting one specifically made for the electric or heat pump so you can uh, have more control over it all right so that's it um, hope you enjoyed yourself and see you next time on acservicetech.com